Sparkle Squad, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jasmine, and welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a list of figure skating movies. I found this website that gives you guys a list of some of their favorite figure skating movies, and I'm going to be reading the titles of the movies and giving you guys a description of each of the movies. And this video might help you guys find a figure skating movie that you guys might want to watch. So without further ado, let's get started with the list. So the website that one second. So the website that I found the list on is called liveabout.com and the list of the title of the list is called Must See Ice Skating Movies. The description of the list is says Sonia Henney's famous ice skating movies made figure skating popular. Since then many figure skating movies have appeared at the box office or on TV or streaming services that showcase the sport and the natural drama involved in a high skate in a high stakes competition. Here are some you'll want to catch. The first movie on the list is Blades of Glory from 2007. I watched this movie before and under the title there is a picture right here of from the movie. The description of this movie is the movie Blades of Glory is a parody about the world of, comp of competitive figure skating. It is about two single male figure skaters and rivals Chaz Mitchell Michaels. I can't read their names sorry if I say them wrong. Will Farrell and Jimmy McElroy, John Heater, who became pairs skating partners after they are banned from competing in singles men figure skating competitions for life. They are banned after they get in a horrible fight on the podium when they have to share a World Winter Sports Games gold medals after their tie. I've watched this movie before, as I said, it wasn't one of my favorite figure skating movies. I feel like it's way a little just just like this much more dramatic than actual figure skating but it was still a pretty good movie so if you guys haven't watched it you could watch it the next movie on this list is ice dreams from 2007 there's a picture right here and the description is ice dreams is a hallmark channel original television movie that was released in january 2010 it's about a former champion skater and olympic contender who returns to the ice to coach a talented teenage girl I've watched this movie before and it was actually a really nice movie and I would totally recommend you guys watching it because I really liked it. The next movie on the list is Ice Princess 2000, from 2005. There's a picture right here and the description is Ice Princess is a Disney movie about a teenage girl who is a physics, physics genius to win a scholarship to Harvard. She works on developing a special formula to make figure skating moves better. She learns how to skate in the process and becomes a figure skating champion. Famous figure skater Michelle Kwan and Brian Botano make special guest appearances in this movie. I feel like Ice Princess should be the first movie on this list. It's just one of my favorite movies. It was like my the top of my list of skating movies. So if you guys haven't seen it, you guys should definitely go look it up and watch it because it's an amazing movie. <laughs> Next is Ice Castles, and this one is from 1978. There are two versions of this one, and that one's next on the list. But for the 1978 one, the description is, the, ice, the cast of Ice Castles includes Robbie Benson, Colleen Dewhurst, sorry, I'm really bad at pronouncing names, and Tom Skerritt, Lynn Holly Johnson, who is a beautiful and talented skater and actress in the 1970s, plays a young and talented teen from out... I, Iowa, who is discovered by a top skating coach. She gets a chance to go to Colorado to be trained to become an Olympic champion. She gets injured and becomes blind shortly after becoming successful at skating, but returns to compete and skate again. So I watched this movie and I really like the movie. It's a really great concept and again, you guys should watch it. Next after it is the 2010 version of Ice Castles, and this one is a more modern version of the older Ice Castles. The description is, Ice Castles is a remake of the 1978 Oscar-nominated movie and the same name. The story clearly shows that the person can recover after a tragedy. So this one, they are almost the same. They have like differences in them, but there are many similarities to them. Even if you watched one of them, you should definitely watch the other one because it's not exactly the same, but both of them are great movies. This movie is called Champions, A Love Story from 1979. I've never actually heard of this movie before I made this video, and I've never seen this movie. 
The description of this movie is, Champions, a love story, was made for the television in 1979. Jimmy McNoll, the brother of a child star, Christy McNoll, plays a hockey player who becomes a figure skater. He is paired up with actress Joy Ludic, who plays a young single skater that must consider pairs because she is not making it in the branch of figure skating. The two become friends and fall in love as they train. Then, McNoll is killed in a plane crash, but Ludic somehow preserves and skates again in singles. The movie ends on a happy note. I've never watched this movie, as I said. It sounds like a really good movie, so I'll have to look it up to see if I can find it anywhere. And if you guys can find it, you guys should watch it. because. And if you have watched it before, comment down below in the description and tell me how you liked it. The next movie is called Attack of the Five Two Women from 1994. This one, it, this is a picture, and the description says Attack of the Five Two Women is a national lampoon movie that is a parody about the Tanya Harding and Nancy Kerrigan figure skating scandal. It's probably the funnest, funniest figure skating parody ever produced. Again, I've never watched this movie before. It's about the Tanya Harding and Nancy Kerrigan, just like in a funnier way, I guess. I've never seen it, and also again, if you guys have seen it, tell me down below in the comment section how you guys like the movie. Now let's move on to the next movie. The next movie is The Cutting Edge, and this one is from 1992. There are many versions of this one, and this is the first version of it. This, the description of this one says, The Cutting Edge begins to burning... The Cutting Edge begins during the 1988 Winter Olympics where an ice hockey player has a professional career cut short after an accident. He is then recruited by a Russian figure skating coach to skate pairs with a very spoiled rich figure skater. At first they don't get along but eventually they become a good pair team. They make it to the 1992 Olympics and fall in love. I really like this movie and I feel like if you guys haven't watched it, you guys should definitely watch it. On my list, this is one of my, this is like my top two after The Ice Princess because it's a really good movie and like I really like it. One of my favorite sayings is from this movie and it's like, don't peek <laughs> because since he's a hockey player, he has to get used to figure skates and he keeps falling a lot and she's like, don't peek in the middle of the movie. The next movie is The Cutting Edge 2, Going for Gold, and this movie is from 2005. I watched this movie as well. I think I've watched all of The Cutting Edge movies. The description of this movie is, this is the sequel to the 1991 hit, The Cutting Edge. Christy Carlson Romano stars as the daughter of the original movie's pair. She is a single skater and is injured. She is not able to do many triple jumps required for singles, but she is able to do pair skating. She interviews many partners, and an inline stunt skater is the best choice. At first, they don't like each other, but as time goes on, they become an amazing they become an amazing pair skate team and fall in love. It's almost the same concept again, but it's different and it's more modern. I really liked all the series of these. This is also in like my top two with like this series of the Cutting Edge. Finally, the last Cutting Edge movie is Cutting Edge Three. Chasing the Dream, and this one is from 2008. It says, this is the third cutting edge movie, and it was made for TV in 2008. This time around, the hockey player that becomes a pair skater is a girl. Christy Carlson Romano, who starred in Cutting Edge 2, plays Jackie Dorsey, a former sing single and pair skater who is the coach that believes in a boy figure skater and the girl hockey player. She takes them to the top. So, if you guys haven't watched any of the Cutting Edge movies, I feel like you could, you guys should just go watch them because I really like the whole series and like watching them is so much fun because they're actually really funny movies and I really like them. The next movie on the list is called The Ice Follies of 1939 and it's from 1939. I've never actually heard of this movie before and I've never watched it. The description of the movie is, the Ice Follies of 1939 is a typical old MGM Hollywood movie, but the film also includes figure skaters from Real Shipstads and Johnson Ice Follies. Those interested in ice skating show history will especially enjoy seeing the film. Viewers should know that the James Stewart and Joan Crawford don't actually do any skating. The story is really about their romance. So. I'm just going to say this, so if you guys know any of these movies, you guys should comment them down below and tell me how you guys like them, because some of these I've never even heard of, and it's like really cool learning about these, but that is the next one. 
After that, this is one. It says Snow White and the Three Stooges. It's from 1961. The description says Snow White and the Three Stooges features Carl Heiss, the 1960 Olympic figure skating champion, making her movie debut as Snow White on figure skates. That actually sounds really cool. <laughs> instead of seven dwarf, instead of seven dwarfs, the three stooges come to Snow White's aid. Heist skates fast and does jumps and spins in both directions. She performs a double axle and also sings. Wow. <laughs> I've never watched this movie and it actually seems like a pretty good movie. Like I really want to watch this one now. The next movie on the list is Sonia Henney, Queen of the Ice, 1995. The description says Sonia Henney is a considered a figure skating legend. The ice skating documentary, Sonia Henney, Queen of Ice, tells the story of her life and career. After winning the Olympics in 1936, Sonia Henney became a movie star. She was one of the Hollywood's most popular stars, appearing in 10, film, in 10 films, some of which are available on DVD. I've never heard of this movie, but I def I do know who Sonia Henney is because, like, of course, she's a legend. Like, everyone should probably know who she is, but I've never watched it, and it's, like, um, a video about her life. So I'm going to see if I can find this and watch it. The next movie on the list is Go Figure from 2005. This movie is amazing. <laughs> I love this movie so much. It's um a Disney movie. You guys should watch it. This is probably my third movie on my list. So it says, Go Figure is a cute Disney movie. A talented teenage girl skater dreams of being a champion and is discovered by a famous Russian skating coach. She does not have enough money to train with this coach, who is associated with a private boarding school, but she has an opportunity to get a hockey scholarship. She accepts the scholarship and plays hockey, learning about teamwork and making friends at the same time. So... You guys should watch it. So, like, apparently what happens, I'm not going to try and spoil it for you guys, but what happens is she gets the scholarship, and she's like, the hockey players don't like figure skaters. Let's just say that. But she used to be a figure skater. So, I'm going to leave you guys at that cliffhanger, so you guys can <laughs> go watch it. <laughs> the next movie is called A Promise Kept, The Oksana Ball Story, 1995. I've never heard of this movie. I don't think I've ever heard of this skater either. I probably should look her up. <laughs> this one is called a bio a promise kept. It's a biog it's a biographical drama that tells the story of Oksana Bau, who won the 1994 Winter Olympics. There is not much skating in the movie, but the story is moving, and there is a performance by the real Oksana Bau at the end. So, just saying. If you guys have seen it, comment down below how you like it, because I just want to know how you guys like all these movies if you've seen them. Next movie is called Blades of Courage from 1987. There's a picture. This one says, Canadian movie Blades of Courage was originally called Skate. It's about a talented Canadian teen who does well in the Canadian National Championships and gets to the world, gets to go to the World Figure Skating Championship. The Canadian Skating Federation gives her a chance to train with the top coach, but the skate, but the coach is strict and runs her, and ruins her. She returns home to defeated but eventually gets back on the ice and competes and performs again thinking back to all the figure skating movies i've watched i don't think i've watched this one either i don't watch that many old figure skating movies but i probably should because these movies seem pretty cool next movie is i tanya this one is from 2017 and this one says the r-rated story of tanya harding came to screen in i tanya in 2017 racing the figure skating's career beginning at age four. The film won an Oscar for Best Performance by an Actress in Supporting Role, scoring a nomination for the Leading Actress Category 2. Nancy Kerrigan, ever classy, declined to comment much about the movie. It was, I was the victim, she told to CNN. That's my role in this whole thing. That's it. I haven't watched this movie. I know that it came out and I've heard about it, but it's like R-rated, so it's not really children friendly. <laughs> so I haven't watched it. Maybe when I'm older or something. Finally, the last movie is Ice the Movie, and this one came out in 2017. This is released on Amazon on March in March 2018 for streaming. Ice the Movie follows the story of two figure skaters competing at high levels. Besides the conflicts, 
involving the pressure to succeed in high stakes competition for the young woman, the single father of one of them, Patrick O'Brien Damsey, battles his decision to allow her to compete. Rated PG or 13 years old. So, I really want to watch this movie. Like, I've wanted to watch it ever since it came out. It seems like a really good movie. So, hopefully I can watch it soon. Hopefully I can find it somewhere to watch it. But those are all the movies on the list. So, those are all of the recommendations the website gave you guys. But I also have some other recommendations for you guys that aren't on the website. The first movie is The Cutting Edge 4, Fire and Ice. This one movie wasn't on the list. It, I think it was just left out. I don't know why, but it is the fourth one of The Cutting Edge, and it's called Fire and Ice. The description of this movie is, A figure skater turns to teaching after her partner suffers a debilitating injury and later summons the courage to get back out on the ice by teaming with a rebellious speed skater with a bad reputation. And here is what the picture looks like. So now let's move on to my next movie recommendation. Next movie I have for you guys is called Ice Girls. And the description of this movie is a 15 year old figure skating champion leaves the sport after her mother loses her job and the family moves to a small town. She struggles to fit in until the owner of a local skating arena helps her fulfill her true potential. And I really like this movie. I've watched it like maybe more than two times, but like I really like this movie. It's a really good movie, so you guys should probably watch it. So there is the picture. So now let's move on. Next movie I have is called Kiss and Cry, and this one, the description for this one is, an 18-year-old figure skater makes medical history in her battle against a rare type of sarcoma. I haven't watched this movie yet, but I've heard from a lot of people saying that they really like the movie, so I want to watch this one really badly. Here is what the picture looks like for it. So now let's move on. The next movie I have for you guys is called Ice Angel. I've seen this movie multiple times. I really like it. It's really funny. The description of this one says, After an ice hockey captain, Aaron Smolinski, dies in an accident, he gets the chance to live again as a female figure skating champion, Nicole Tom. I really like this movie. Um, it's really funny, and also because Tara Lipinski is in the movie. And if you guys didn't know, Tara Lipinski is one of my favorite figure skaters. So here is a picture of what it looks like. So you guys should totally go check this movie out. The next movie I have for you guys is called One in a Million. This movie is a pretty old movie. It's from 1936. I haven't watched this movie yet, but I know that it's black and white. The description of this movie is Tad Spencer, Aldolfine Menu, I don't know if I said that correctly, is an American theater, theaterical manager traveling in the Swiss Alps with a troop of performers when he discovers ice skater Gretchen Muller, Sonia Henney, convinced she would make them all rich with her routines. Tad is determined to make her part of the lineup. However, Gretchen lo would lose her Olympic eligibility if she receives any money for ice skating. But that doesn't stop Tad. Meanwhile, reporter Bob Harris, Don Amechi, is keeping tabs on the situation. And here is the picture of it. The picture for the movie is in colors, but the movie itself is in black and white. But yes. The next movie I have for you guys is called Love on Ice. I've watched this movie before and it was really good. This one came out in 2017. The description of this movie is a former figure skating champion, Julie Berman, gets an imp improbable second shot to reclaim glory when a young coach sees greatness in her. And here is the picture for the movie. So you guys should go check this movie out. The next movie I have for you guys is called Snowden on Ice. This movie is one of my favorite movies. It's really good. And the description of it is, Snowden on Ice is a musical holiday special aired on CBS in 1997. It was funded by a Target Corporation. Not that very detailed about the movie, but this movie has Scott Hamilton in it, and he is the Zamboni guy, and it's a really fun movie, and I really liked it. Here's the picture of what it looks like. So you guys should go check it out. 
The next movie I have for you guys is the Snowden Raggedy Ann and Andy Holiday Show. And this movie doesn't have a description, but it's from 1998. And this movie also has Scott Hamilton in it. I haven't watched this movie yet, but I have seen the trailer for it. And I really want to watch it. So here is the picture of it. So if you guys have seen this one, let me know how you liked it in the comment below. The next movie I have for you guys is called Ronnie and Julie, and this movie is in the modern reinterpretation of Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. Ronnie Joshua Jackson is a hockey player, and Julie Margaret Finley is a talented figure skater. They meet at a debate in which their parents are battling for mayoral position and are instantly, instantly drawn to each other. However, their fleeting relationship faces obstacles due to their feuding parents. How long can their star-crossed lovers keep their relationship a secret from their families? So, I watched this movie, and it was pretty good. So, like, it's almost like the Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, just instead of having a sad ending, it's a happy ending. And here is the picture of the movie. The last movie I have for you guys is called A Snow-Capped Christmas. And this is a Christmas movie. I really like this movie. I've seen it so many times. It's like an amazing movie. <laughs> um, the description of this movie says, An injured champion figure skater goes to a rehabilitation center and meets an ice fisherman who shows her there is more to life than competing. And here is the picture of it. So if you guys like Christmas movies, like you guys would really like this one because it's like a Christmas movie, but they're ice skating in it at the same time. And I really liked it, so you guys should go watch it. Those are all of the figure skating movie recommendations I have for you guys. I know that this video was a little, really, like a little long, but I didn't want to do two parts for you guys because I wanted to fit it all into one video for you guys so you didn't have to watch two separate videos to find a movie you wanted to watch. But I hope that you guys could find a movie in this video that you guys might want to watch. Anyways, I want you guys to comment down below. Have you seen any of these figure skating movies? Or if you guys have any figure skating movie recommendations for me that you guys think that I should watch that I might haven't have watched. Anyways, also don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I love you guys. Bye!